Welcome to my studio makeover video. <laughs> I'm super excited to be filming this. I've watched them all the time on YouTube and I'm very, very happy to be filming one of my own. Before we jump into all of the aggressive furniture building and all of these time lapses I've filmed, I wanna give a bit of background about me, about this space, just in case this is your first time coming onto my channel. So hello, nice to meet you. My name is Megan. I'm an illustrator and comic artist. I also make videos here on YouTube. I run a Patreon account, shout out to my patrons. And I also I run an online shop where I make things like earrings and little clay sculptures, stickers, prints, stuff like that. I recently moved into this apartment with my partner Robert. We are going to be working in this room together. So there's a few things that I want out of this space. The first thing is I want things to be really nice and organized. Two people working in the same space, I think there's a very large possibility of things becoming cluttered or just you know, not having the best organization. Before I moved to this apartment, I was living in Brooklyn with my sister Julia and the space was nice. It was like a very large co-working space. One thing I didn't like was how I organized things. I just didn't have things organized in the smartest way. So moving forward to this space, I want to make sure that my packing supplies and my crafting supplies and everything is organized so that it feels comfortable and I'm excited to work and I'm not just stressed out by clutter. The next goal I have for this space is to have it feel very me. Just like my previous thing with the organization, I just want this to be a space that I walk into every morning and I'm like, dang, I want to make something art, clean, and cute. Two things I'm going for in this room. And now I want to talk a little bit about some of what I'm really inspired by. I'm going to put up some pictures here of just things I'm really into. I'm really inspired by this like clean, minimal, Muji-esque study look that I'm seeing on the internet a lot. I also really like spaces that have a lot of plants and just very bright. But anyways, that's some of what I'm inspired by and a bit of background about what I'm looking forward to doing in this space. Yeah, I'll see you in the next few clips. Bye! base is done now I have to flip it over do the cranking mechanism and then attach the top there you go. okay I finished building it and it's really big we measured it beforehand and I was like, oh, it'll be fine. But now that it's here, I'm like, oh my God, it's very large. Um, the tricky thing is, is like, I kind of can use all of this space here, but Robert also works and it's not the largest room for two people to be working. Um, his little station is right here and it doesn't, it's obviously not a lot of stuff, but I feel like my desk is way bigger than this desk. Okay, let's watch me assemble these Alex Ikea drawers. I feel like a lot of artists have these and for good reason, they can hold a lot of things. Um, I had a lot of trouble assembling this because I'm really, really bad at putting together Ikea furniture. It was also kind of complicated in my own opinion and I'm really bad at using the power drill. It was just a recipe for failure, but I had a lot of Lee Ellickson videos to watch and she kept me company through the whole thing, so thank you Lee for giving me strength as I put these drawers together. Yeah, it took me way longer than you think it did. <laughs> Um, I just would always run into issues with Ikea assembly. I'll like put the wrong screw in and then have to take everything apart and by then all of the screws and pieces are so stripped that it doesn't work and I have to figure out like another way to attach everything together. Yeah, it's not great. I also think that if a group of people from like different places and ages had to assemble this same drawer and it was like a contest, I would 100% place last. Um, I don't think this drawer is the best 
Um, but you know, I did my best, so that's that. Here's my desk. <laughs> Bamboo. Yeah, he got black, but instantly regretted it. Yeah, instantly. I need to do cable management. <laughs> I'm having to move everything that's except for this. You gotta, you gotta put your hand behind it so you, it focuses. It it's like a beauty bit. guru. This is my work laptop. This is not my laptop. This is my keyboard, my monitor. Robert's really into. Uh, he's an audiophile now. Well, it just started. Please <laughs> do not quit me. These are the first ones I got, and then I got my DAC and my amp. <laughs> it's supposed to be a mushroom lamp, but it kind of looks like something else. <laughs> this. I made that. Megan made this for me. I did. Fisherman I did. cat. Fisherman cat. You remind me to stay on my grind. And then you have your books. My architecture books, yeah. People are learning so much about you. You got interests. All your hobbies. Pikachu, architecture, <laughs> headphones. <laughs> Desk tour over. for our studio makeover journey today. The first thing I really wanna do is put up my art prints. I've been putting this off for the longest time and I feel like I'm finally ready to compose a really nice looking art wall setup. And before I do that, I thought I would just show you some of the prints that I'm gonna be putting up and talk a bit about them because they're from artists that I really, really love and I love to plug other people's art here. So Radia gave me a bunch of really, really beautiful prints when I visited her in New York before I left. 2021 is almost over, which is really freaking scary, but um, I really love this Rizzo calendar. I also have this piece from her. Illustration spread of Kuni being adorable, just doing Kuni things. When putting things up on the wall, I think it looks nice when your art is a bunch of different sizes, so. And I have these two prints from Joanna Clay Design. I really like the color palette she uses, and I think this little kitty is super cute, so. Next, I'm putting up a lot of Jisoo's art because we all know I'm obsessed with Jisoo. We have the Fuita Salad print which I think is so cute. This is gonna go next to this one, I think they match. Um, Jason made this for me, it's an original. Uh, I love it so much, it's a little spicy. Then this is her Patreon print from July that I really like. This is a previous Patreon benefit that I got from her Patreon shop. And then from Tiffany, aka Apple Cheeks, I'm gonna be putting up this print is also super beautiful. I, I love this one so much. And then I was thinking of also putting her thank you card up as well because I just think it's really sweet. Then I have this little guy from Malin that I like a lot. I recently placed some prints from Odd Rabbits and the artist's name is Marlo and I found out that they watched my videos, which is like so wild. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited about these prints. They're super beautiful and I'm gonna be putting them next to each other.
setting up my grid thing. part of the video though we are going to be organizing so I went to the container store I did like a pickup option and I picked up some things and I want to show you my first purchase because I'm so excited about this look at it when I pack orders I keep all my stickers in their individual plastic bags which is so hard to pack with and every time I someone orders a sticker I have to like open the little bag and take the sticker out and when I have a lot of orders it's just very overwhelming it gets so disorganized I'm just really excited to organize my stickers this way and it's gonna make packing a breeze I also got these flat container storage things I'm gonna put them in my Alex drawers because the drawers are so long and flat and I want to be able to organize my belongings because they have a lot of like little things like pliers and pens and whatnot and I'm the kind of person that I like things organized but I'm also very lazy so if it's not really set up for me to keep things organized I know I'm just gonna like throw all my shit in there and just be really bad and not be able to keep up with the cleanliness level and I feel like it's just easier to stay organized when you have these things but yeah let's organize So when I was just packing and I had like one sticker, this was fine, but now I have all these stickers and it's just so unmanageable. The other day I was watching TikTok as I am every single day and a TikTok came up on my For You page of this person talking about, they like stitched another video of someone doing similar to what I'm doing now but much better in which all the little containers and everything fit perfectly and this person was just like, how do you guys do this? You know, um, how do you know how to perfectly arrange everything? How does it fit so perfectly? Like, are you doing math? And my guess is people definitely measure out the drawer dimensions and then their container dimensions and they use those math skills. And as I was on the containerstore.com placing my order for these little boxes, I told myself, absolutely not, I will not be doing math. I refused to do math. After I took my last math class in 11th grade, I swore to myself I would never do math again. And I held true to that. And none of my little containers really fit perfectly, but that's something I am okay with. management time okay i know i can't sing. anyways 
So we got a cable box and a cable ropey thing from the container store and Robert is going to try to contain and manage all of these cables. You can see he's doing a great job. I'm helping him a lot, being super helpful there by eating my lunch. And I think it turned out pretty good. He has this little box thing so he can still use cables on his desk. And I think it's a major improvement. Um, yeah, good job, Robert. So I have previously spent a lot of time building this rolling chair. It's like gray and I filmed the whole thing. I have tons of clips of me building this chair and I spent like 60 on it, which I realize in retrospect is not that much to spend on a nice desk chair. And it's probably the worst chair I've ever sat in. I hate that thing so much and I'm returning it because it just does not work. Like. The bottom of the seat cushion tips downwards and my butt is just always falling out of it. It's so uncomfortable. So yeah, I decided to spend a little bit more on a chair just to have something a bit better quality that'll last me longer. Hopefully my butt doesn't slide out of this one. I like the black and white look and it was much, much easier to assemble than the other chair. Um, yeah. It's a vertical laptop stand. When I have a monitor, I don't need two screens. I just don't really like it. I just like having my one single screen. So my laptop is normally just like closed and on my desk, but when you put it vertically, you end up saving a lot of space and I think it just looks cleaner. So. I got this, it's very sturdy as well. And then I also got um, a little monitor stand because they always say like, oh, I don't know these ergonomic rules, <laughs> but I know there's like a lot of like ergonomic tips and things that you have to ensure like you're, like this is too low, like your forearm should be level with the table, something like that. But I know one of the things is that it's not good to like bend your neck down when you're looking at your screen, it's good to have it be eye level. Um, so I think my monitor needs to be just like boosted up a bit and if it's leveled up I can put stuff under the shelf like my keyboard and stuff and it'll just help keep it look clean like I want that clean look I'm gonna tell you a little saga that I don't think many people will find interesting but I'm filming voiceover so I might as well just add this one in so <laughs> basically I got a monitor that was 27 inches and I was just like okay this should be fine Robert's monitor is 27 inches, mine should be fine. I set it up, it was so large and it took up so much of the desk. And every day I woke up and I was just like, God, the thing is so enormous, I don't like it. So I ended up giving it to Robert and I got myself a smaller one. And I like this one so much better. I feel like it's way more comfortable on the eyes. And yeah, I'm very glad I made the decision to switch. I think 24 inches is a good size for me and 27 was just a bit too much. So I went to a plant store um, yesterday with my friend Maimuna and Robert and it was really nice. It was recommended to me by Radia's friend Emma. So thank you, Emma, if you're watching this. It was a really good recommendation. Um, it was really large. It was called La Crescenta Nursery. Um, and yeah, it's very, very big. You can just walk around and they had a huge selection of like outdoor plants and also indoor plants. And I had a good time like walking around and just looking at the greenhouse area. Um, yeah, I had a lovely time, but unfortunately I didn't find anything to take home. They didn't have a lot of nursery house plants. They had a huge selection of like little vegetable plants and things you could take home like that, but nothing like what I was really looking for. I was kind of looking for small baby house plants uh, because smaller plants tend to be a lot more affordable. So, but today we went to Home Depot because I had to just do some errands there and Home Depot has a garden section and I actually ended up picking up a few plants. Um, I'm gonna call them rescue plants uh, because the plants in Home Depot don't tend to be like in the greatest condition but I still picked up quite a bit of things. I got some plant pots and I got some plants and yeah I hope they make my studio look a bit more brighter. Even looking at them right now in the corner there I feel like 
the house just feels like a lot more homey so I can't wait to just like buy more and more plants. Hello. So I feel like the studio is really coming along. I think it's almost done. I've done a lot of organization, I've assembled pretty much all the furniture, put up some artwork, I've assembled like my chair, my monitor, I feel like my desk situation's looking really good, everything's very functional, but I think the last step are these finishing little touches to just add a little bit of spice <laughs> to my space. So I think I'm gonna do two little DIYs. One, I wanna make some little coasters because I feel like they just look so me and I love crocheting and I feel like having little coasters around is not only very useful because I eat at my desk a lot because we still don't have a kitchen table. The next thing is I want to make a little pom-pom garland. I know a lot of artists have these in their studios. I feel like I've seen Tiffany DIY one. I think Radia has a pom-pom garland. Um, I want to make one though because I had previously ordered a lot of pom-poms for just like an earring project and I didn't measure them well enough. Let's get into it. Also, one last thing before I go make this garland. I have a special guest to introduce you to. Look at him! I love him so much. He's so soft and fuzzy. He's dressed a bit poorly for LA weather, but it's okay. I will not judge him. Like, fashion is fashion, so who am I to say, like, dress more weather appropriate? This is the Laugh and Dewey plushes that I've seen a lot of artists have, and I was just like, I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon because I don't wanna look at this every day, so I got it. <laughs> He actually comes in like a bunch of different outfits and then I consulted like a lot of people and asked them which outfit they liked the best because I can't make decisions independently. Anyways, I, I, I'm procrastinating this garland. All right, let's go. Okay, so I thought that I would have to like tie a bunch of knots to hold it in place, but the pom-pom is kind of dense enough and the string is thick enough so that the pom-pom stays in place. I don't have to do anything and just move, hey. Um, which is just like less work for me, so. Yes, I'll catch you later and I'm a time lapse this, so go fast. This window is really working right now. Yeah! I showed Robert the pom-pom thing and he called it, oh, those little fuzzy balls. <laughs> Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna crochet some stuff. So I already have this. Um, I crocheted it when I was filming for my last video, which was like my movie vlog. So check that out if you haven't watched it already. I kind of want to make one that's a bit larger. flower and I also improvised at the end because I thought it was looking weird a little bit worse for wear so I did another outline uh, so I did a whole another extra row um, it, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I don't love it but I think it'll grow on me that's kind of cute
Then tap. Back up. Back up. Mm. Hello and welcome to the tour. Robert is filming right now, so if it's not great, don't blame me. I'm trying my best. <laughs> <laughs> so it's obviously, as you can see, it's not a very large room, but I feel like we've done a very good job of making it feel like filled with things, but not too cluttered. I mean, you don't think it's very cluttered, right? No, I don't think so. There's a lot it's, of open space. It's really space. comfortable, um, and both of us are working in here all the time, and I don't feel like claustrophobic, so. But let's start with my desk. So this is the IKEA Skarsta desk. It's 63 inches, so it's huge, and it's a hand crank, so it goes, you know, up and down. Unlike the flexi spot one, it's not instantaneous, so I'll just be here like... But I like it because it's really nice and big, and there's no extra wires. I have my little desk chair, I like it a lot. This goes up and down, not bad. So this is an IKEA pegboard. They come in a lot of different sizes. Uh, it took us a bit of trial and error to put it up, but it ended up working out really well. It comes with all these fun attachments, so I'm still waiting on the cups so I can put like my paintbrushes and my pens in there, but it's out of stock still. But right now I put some plushies here, I'm gonna hang things like desk essentials that I find myself grabbing a lot, so I have my AirPods. Behind my Switch I have a camera charger and an SD card reader, so things that I need very often. I'm just gonna put right here. We have my monitor. This is a curved monitor. My first time using a curved one, but it's kind of nice. Like I don't mind it. Um, originally I had one that was much bigger, but I got a smaller one and I like it a lot better. It's on this little desk. Underneath here I have my hard drive. I have a little washi tape holder. Robert, back up. <laughs> here I have another pink tape holder from Daiso. This little clay cutie is from or a tub of tie. This is a little desk cup. Oops. This is like a little cup. It's made of, it's real ceramic wear and I made this when I was like 16 in high school and I still really like it. Um, I've been using it as my pencil cup ever since. This right here is my MacBook M1 or Mac, MacBook Air M1. I got it after I spilled Dalgona coffee on my old computer and it was super sad. I got a snazzy laptop holder and I can put it vertically and it ends up saving me a lot of desk space, which I really like. Keyboard and mouse, moving along the desk. I have Laugh and Dewey, or I haven't really named it yet, but he is, that's what the plush is called. I have my Pothos, this is an umbrella plant, and my Monstera. I've gotten a lot of questions about this print in particular. This print is by an artist called James Fisher. I will leave uh, his Instagram handle is Watermelon Baby. <laughs> so I'll leave all the little handles for all these artists up here just in case you're wondering um, what who's what art is from who. Yeah. Moving along to this side, this is just the storage area. So I have my trusty Alex drawers here. It's a roll of printer I got. I have my sticker storage. So if you wanna come over here, I'll show you what's in what drawer. So in this drawer, I have very basic stationary supplies. And this one, this little container is full of little gifts from friends that I haven't used yet. I have my sticker holder. This is my stationary journal. These are little pages I use to write people letters. Um, they're actually a bunch of mushroom pages. It's pretty cool. Um, it's actually kind of phallic and I didn't realize I was sending a bunch of people. Anyways. <laughs> um, so yeah, a bunch of stationary things. The next drawer isn't nearly so good how do I say this? The next drawer isn't as nicely organized, but I did my best. This one is just craft miscellaneous things. So I have my beads, my clay tools. This is a little piece of glue and this froggy got stuck to it and I literally can't get it <laughs> off. So <laughs> this is just always here. Got some of my pliers here as well. So yeah, beading, craft stuff. This is paper and paints. I have my brushes. I want to put those up there, but for now they're here. Down here is tech miscellaneous stuff. I haven't had a very good way of organizing it, but I bunched a bunch of cables in my mooncake box so it doesn't look too bad. And yeah, I have my arm tripod right there. This next drawer has just foldable boxes for when I mail things out. And then the very bottom, I have reusable glassine, paper, tape, bubble wrap stuff. Um, it's not the cutest, but you should get the job done. I will admit, I have not come up with the best shelf organization yet. Um, this is still really a work in progress, but 
the very top, I have uh, It's My Home Depot Rescue. As you can see, it's not doing very well, and we'll see if it survives. Um, for this IKEA shelf, I got an extra set of shelves, just because when I was in New York, I had an Ibar IKEA shelf, and I just found that it wasn't enough. So I got an extra one, and I spaced them out so I have more space to put things. So on the top, I have my envelopes and just shipping things. I got my stamps here. And here, I'm going to put more inventory-related stuff. It's not super organized, but I have my prints right here. Printer, printer paper, and then the bottom of it, mailers. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all mailers. I, I feel like Robert already gave a desk core, so we can just pan over it. But it looks a lot cleaner than it did last time, because he was able to put a lot of his things onto this shelf, like the router and whatnot. But he's got a snake plant. Tanjiro Pikachu, an absolute desk essential. Um, yeah, his headphones. Everything is black. <laughs> Matt black, it's very sleek. I wish I had gotten the bamboo or the white though. Yeah. A little Jisupi sticker on the laptop stand. So he knows he's great all the time. And then you've seen the rubber cart with all of his hobby essentials. Um, and it moves around, so it's really convenient to roll. It's not the biggest, but I think we did a really good job at making it come together, so yeah. Thank you for watching! <laughs> okay, how do I stop it? Hello! You made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for making it to the end. I really appreciate you. I know it's a longer one. I had a great time editing and filming this video. This is definitely the video that I worked the hardest on in my entire YouTube career. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out, how the video turned out, and also the studio itself. It was just really fun to be able to start from scratch and make the space into my own. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. So far, working in here has been very comfortable. I love the morning light. I love the afternoon light that sort of starts to stream into the window. We also get a golden hour in here and I just feel really grateful and lucky to be in this space, to be making art and being able to share it all with you. I also feel like I accomplished my two goals I said in the beginning. Like it does feel very clean and cute to me. I have all of like my little cute items and pink things and I think the white accents and how I organize things makes it feel quite clean. Before we close, I want to give a special shout out to all of my patrons. Um, thank you guys so much for letting me do this. I would not have been able to do any of this without the support of my patrons who have given me the financial support to be able to move, to be able to afford to live here, to buy all of these items. Uh, furnishing a studio and an apartment is not cheap. And yeah, I would not have been able to do any of this without the support of my patrons. So thank you so much for everything. You guys are awesome. Whether you've been a patron in the past, present, or even my future patrons, like all the love and support for you. Okay, so that's it for now. I'm gonna log off and I hope you take care of yourself and I'll see you very, very soon with your regularly scheduled studio vlog content because I feel like I haven't filmed one of those in a very long time, but no fear, we'll be back at it in like a week or two with some studio vlogs. So thank you, take care, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.